Welcome to my tour and review of a standard balcony cabin on board the beautiful Norwegian Epic. Some cruise lines don't even have a deck 13. However, NCL do and this is where our cabin was located. I hope that this wasn't going to be a bad omen. The fish on the carpet swim forward so it's easier to find your cabin. And ours is 13153. And there's still this old school way of informing your steward if you want your cabin to be cleaned, turned down or not to be disturbed. And as I walked into the cabin, I saw the bed was over by the balcony, which is the layer I prefer. Do you prefer the bed or the sofa to be over by the balcony? Please let me know in the comments below. The bed was a really good size and so comfortable too. And it was nice to see drawers in the cabin again. Other cruise lines should make note. Just a quick special shout out to those pillows. They were amazing. It was only when I turned around to look back at myself that I wonder, where is the bathroom in this cabin? There'll be more on that to come. However, this curvy sofa was actually more comfortable than it first appeared. In fact, it was the thing I noticed the most. The whole cabin was really curvy. There was a phone over the bed to call your steward or for guest services, small lamp, a couple of light switches, and somewhere to store your belongings. And that was mirrored on the other side of the bed. Unfortunately, there were no outlets or USB sockets. In the corner of the cabin was this really large wardrobe. And below the wardrobe are these three drawers. Just inside were a couple of plastic hangers. I hope there's more hangers in this cabin. And next to the wardrobe is the TV, which also has lots of information about your stay on board the ship. From here you can watch TV shows and movies, plus also check out the entertainment, dining and bars on board the ship. It's well worth checking your account once a day just to make sure there's nothing been added that you're not aware of. And I thought that these storage bins were a really nice touch. We use them to store our dirty clothes. And behind this door is where you find all of your power outlets. Here you will find two European and two US outlets and a small shelf to balance your electrical items on. And I would recommend bringing adapters if you've got them. Next to that is a small stool and the hairdryer and a bin. And above this is a small desk area, which is the perfect size for the complimentary chocolate strawberries. The room comes with a small safe. It's a good size for your keys and your personal items but not really big enough for, say, an iPad. There's also a small fridge, which does come with some rather expensive bottles of water. And there was also some evidence of some wear and tear here too. And next to that is another wardrobe, but this time has lots of hangers. And at the bottom of the wardrobe were the life vests, slippers and dressing gowns. And this is where the layout of the room really starts to get a bit funky. This is the basin area, but it's not actually in a bathroom, because there isn't a bathroom. It's just here in the main part of the cabin. And this is also where the face cloths and towels are stored. This is the mirrored cabinet and inside of which has some shelves and the shaver socket. And there's a light switch just tucked up below. Once you use the shower, you just pull across this curtain, which creates this small area of privacy with a shower on one side and a toilet on the other. And behind this frosted screen is the all important loo. which in itself is fairly compact. A 
couple of weirdly placed towel holders here. This is the entrance into the shower, which is a fairly decent size. And I obviously recommend putting the mat on the floor because that is the entranceway in and out of your cabin, so you don't want that being wet. There's a clothesline inside the shower, so you can hang up any wet swimwear. The shower itself had a really good pressure, and it also came with complimentary body wash and shampoo. And out of the shower and over by the cabin door was this. I don't know what it is. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. And below that is a cabin light switches and the place to put your key card to make sure the power in the room works. And now I'll spin around so you can see how this de facto bathroom looks. I think it was okay for us because we were a couple, but it might be a bit odd if you were some friends sharing a cabin. And should you require it, there's room service to your cabin. I just point out that none of the drinks you order to your cabin are part of any drinks package. You can order breakfast in bed, which comes with a $4.95 charge. And there's the all-day menu, which comes with a $9.95 service charge. Each day, a copy of the Freestyle Daily is left in your cabin. It shows what activities will be happening on board the ship, plus restaurant, bar and venue opening times. And I take a photo of all of this, so I've got a handy reference on my phone. And this is the large balcony area, which has two chairs and a rather small table. Overall, I really enjoyed this cabin. Yes, I know that the bathroom situation is a bit odd, but you know what? It didn't bother me too much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing.